Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Damien Wolf. Uh, I'm again live, well, re again recorded on my YouTube channel. We are again gonna be talking about a Diablo Immortal update. I'm a bit late, you know, compared to the other YouTubers, but, uh, you know, if you're watching my channel and you want to get some updates from my channel, then we're here to deliver. And uh, the last time I had a special guest, I had my friend uh, Gribspark with me. And right now I have another special guest. And he's actually a YouTube content creator himself. You can check his channel out. I'll have him plug his channel. And you can see him on the screen. His name is Season. Although I'm kind of used to him being a crusader. He's not a crusader right now. Because one thing about Season, guys. He's actually going all around <laughs> all the classes. Okay, Season. <laughs> you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello. Yeah, that's right. Hello, uh, magandang gabi. Uh, good evening to uh, all of the watchers today. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, primarily the it's the Crusader class that uh, I, I fell in love with, not just with Diablo Immortal, but with the other games that I've played. Um, but you know, one thing that's worth talking about is this game particularly mm -hmm. offers a lot of good variety in terms of the classes. So you know, really taking advantage of that and looking at different builds for other classes as cool, well. Cool, cool. And you know, unlike me, because you know, I really love the monk, so I just, I just can't get away from it. Uh, Season, you know, really dives deep into the other classes. He makes guides about different guild, uh, builds or guilds, builds. So go check his channel out because there will be a lot of guides. Again, I will be posting his channel link on the description, and of course, I'll have, uh, I'll have him plug his channel. But anyway, Season, um, get it though. We're we're not gonna be talking about builds. We're not gonna be talking about all that jazz. We're gonna be talking about the new patch that is coming in, the very new update, and I'll put it on the screen right now. Here it is. Um, it is called. Oh my God, I I can't see it. I put it on the screen. I can't see it. Uh, I think it's called Forgotten Nightmares. Okay, and a while back I made a video about a data mine uh, leak that uh, was uh, you know that came up with some tidbits about what's supposed to be coming up in the next patch. Some of it is confirmed. Some of it was a little different from what was on the data mine but we're gonna be here to talk about it okay so season you ready we're gonna dive deep into this okay G. all right let's do it okay well met adventurer welcome to forgotten nightmares first major update for diablo immortal uh okay for begin and fold all i'm gonna read all of this um thank you for the many hours you've spent from saving sanctuary from demonic threats you got it blizzard many hours so there will be a server maintenance starting on September 27 from 5 to 7 PDT for Oceania, China, East Asia, Southeast Asia, and Europe servers. And on September 28 from 1 to 3 P uh, AM PDT for servers in the Americas. So after the maintenance is concluded, all items mentioned below will be live. Specific dates for any content going live afterward are provided below. Anong araw yan? What, what, date, is, what day is that? September 27. See? September 27, I think, is a Tuesday. There you go. It's a Tuesday. So it's going to be a, a taco Tuesday here. <laughs> okay, Forgotten Nightmares major content update is our largest to date. So join lead game designer Joe Grubb and associate game designer Stephen Stewart as they shed some light on the new dungeon, Silent Monastery, Gloom Guides Prize, Item Set, and the Castle Serengar. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Sil Sirangar or Sirangar, Warband Exploration System. And let's watch the video. Actually, we're going to watch the video right now. Um, and I hope you can see it, Season. You can see it on my screen, right? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Let's watch it and let's probably. Okay, really cool animation off the bat. Really cool animation off the bat here. Hey, Diablo Immortal players. We're glad you're here as we take you through some of the details of our next major update. Mm. I'm Joe Grubb, lead game designer on Diablo Immortal. And I'm Steven Stewart, associate game designer. First, we wanted to recap our commitment to deliver fresh content to you. You can anticipate seeing content updates such as battle pass seasons, in-game events, yes. feature updates, and more. Mm. For this major update, in addition to new gameplay, features, and in-game events, I'm excited to introduce the Silent Monastery, Silent our first Monastery. new dungeon. Relive the history of the Zakrum Crusades with a new story quest to guide you, where you'll part the mists of Mount Zavane 
to cleanse an ancient temple before okay, its darkness was a, consumes this the land. This was shown already in a, in a, Speaking in a of darkness, trailer from China. The dungeon introduces a new mechanic around light and dark. Ooh. You'll need to ignite the temple statues to have a chance against the nightmare Pretty hordes. cool, okay. And finally, what's a new dungeon without a terrifying new end boss? Stand toe to toe with the soul of the ancient nightmare itself in a multi-stage oh, and environment changing battle. Are you ready? To get geared up for the formidable challenges ahead, I'll pass it over to Steven to share the latest news on items. Over the last couple of months, we have introduced two rounds of new legendary items for all classes, and we've enjoyed seeing how players have theorycrafted these items into highly effective builds, right. bolstering their day-to-day -day combat, builds. <laughs> helicarry raids, and dungeon runs. However, yeah, for this yeah, update, yeah, yeah. we are incredibly excited to shake things up even further by introducing an entirely new set. Here we go! There are currently eight sets in the game that have seen wide use by all players, assuming different roles within Shout their parties to Urge. and further modifying their preferred playstyle. We believe this new set will only further add to the excitement of hunting upgrades excitement? and new ways okay, to play excitement. Immortal. <laughs> Our new set is called Gloom Guides Prize and focuses primarily on skills that we classify as dash Wait, essentially look at that, your movement look at that. Skills. Fear, when you commit that's fear. to this set, these movement skills amplify your Now, this is what we were talking about. Sorry, let me pause battle. this. Um, when I made a video, um, we were kind of wondering, because this is what we talked about in the data mine leak. Uh, the third part of the set, I guess if you have six, set, uh, six of the set items, is that there will be a fear uh, debuff on your enemies. And we weren't sure if the, uh, what's that, Demon Hunter skill, the one that you know, jumps. Uh, daring, swing. daring swing. So we weren't sure if daring swing was a dash effect, but anyway, the video confirms it is a dash effect. So there we go. Okay, uh, let's let's continue with the video. Well, in both powerful and unique ways, so in chaos and destruction with every moment of combat. Ooh. That's the latest on items. Joe, what's next for warbands? This major update also lets you expand your new warband castle Come with on. a new exploration system where you'll work through 16 rooms of monsters to find valuable heirlooms to buff your warband against the demons of the Hell Aquarium. Running explorations through the rooms can be done with two to eight members. And if you reach the final room, additional rewards can be gathered from a boss battle. Two that wraps eight. it up. Thanks okay. for joining us for this quick update. We'll see you all in West March. All right, so <laughs> what do you think about the <laughs> about the new updates there about the video yeah um very interesting i think i think that's the first uh, the first thing that comes to mind uh, mm -hmm. obviously there's there's quite a lot of content that they wanted to add which is good um my my initial reaction really is um i'm i'm a little bit half and half like obviously i'm very happy that there's additional content that's coming in right but if you consider you know it being a major update i guess i, I got my hopes a little bit higher because mm. uh, like if, like for example you know previous uh mini updates about we, we had a couple of set items okay. the legend that, that came out mm. um and those are pretty much game breaking because that really alters either your build or it creates a new option for you to create a, an entirely new build so and, and if you take a look at the context of the game, dun sa malakas eh, you have different classes, mm -hmm. legendaries provide different builds. So, yep. for me, for that to be considered as a mini update, unang naisip ko, oi bonga, mini lang to, right? So, mm -hmm. so yun yung, eh, that, that, that was kind of like the big portion of me. So, I guess my expectations were a little bit higher when, when we said it's going to be a major update. Um, and then, you know, now we have a new dungeon coming in and obviously it's it's too early for us to say if it's gonna be impactful or not um siguro in my mind i was thinking more of are they gonna be adding a new class uh ah, kasi yun, that's a real uh, major update if it's a new class right? major <laughs> talaga yan, diba? if you compare game it to breaking sa ah, you're right med game breaking med game breaking siya, or are there going to be changes on a, on a PvP approach or content? Okay. Um, kasi like for example, yung yung ating current uh, GVG uh, method is you pretty much battle the immortal, which is not a GVG kind of thing. Right, really, which is not a GVG. It's like one guild versus one person, right? Okay. And I kind of have a 
uh, a bit of uh, ano tawag ba doon bias towards kunyari Ragnarok Mobile no that when you say mm. guild guild battle talagang so every member would be guild right. <laughs> back back yeah. so yun lang yun, yun, yun yung initial impressions ko in terms of the major update um kudos though kumaga just one quick pro here is that um yung kanilang downtime to, during the maintenance is only 2 hours which wow. i think that that shows a lot yeah, of efficiency you're right. Sisilipin mo yung ibang maintenance hours, kalahating araw, yung ibang o baka pa rin sang araw. So. It's only two hours, no? I mean, wow, yeah. okay. So it means they might have added already some things, you know, in, in some patches or in the past, and then uh, maybe they'll just activate it. Anyway, we don't know what. The, what the, yeah. But, but you know, um, I, I, of course, I value your opinion, no? But I think it's a little, for me, naman, my opinion is that it's a little too early for a super duper game changing thing i mean uh i'm sure they're gonna be uh quite kind of staggering it a little bit no because if they put in something as big as that as a as a new class parang people are gonna be jumping in on it i mean look how many okay how many builds have you done already off the um, top of your head do you know how many builds you've done Medyo madami-dami na din. Like for the Crusader class, I have four. Sa Monk, dalawa. Mm-hmm. Sa Wizard, tatlo. Um, so, so medyo madami-dami na rin. I, I think about around 15 builds. 15 um, builds. Right. And you've explored yeah. all of the classes already, right? Or may kulang pa? Um, may kulang pa. So, Necromancer, I haven't. At saka Barbarian. Okay. But the rest, naanang ka na lahat. Well, I'll, I'll give you as an example, di ba? You being a super sipag... Uh, you know, very, very cool person checking all of these out. You actually have not yet been to the other, to all of the classes. Diba? So, there's still a little bit of the game for you to explore. Ba? And yeah. again, I'm not, look, uh, of course, I value your opinion. And, and I would want a major update right away. Diba? And I understand um, how you'd want it to, because their definition of it has to be game breaking or major update. So, sure, that, but there has to be a major update. I'm okay with that. Um, except that I think if it's a really major update like that, it shouldn't be right now. Though. It should be just a little bit further down the line when people have really, really went into the game. Anyway, so yeah, well, good. We've already put in our points on that one. Let's move on to the rest and let's talk about the new dungeon. This is the Silent Monastery. We've seen this on the video. Um, does he look like the same ancient nightmare? Is it the same? Huh? Hindi ko, ma- hindi ko sure eh. Um, when, we, when we fight the ancient knight, may parang naka side view eh. So, we don't, <laughs> don't see it really. Okay, but uh, definitely it's a different color. I think I think it's a different color from ano. And on the video, he looked a lot smaller. So, parang siguro it's really the the real ancient knight. Yeah. Or the soul of it. Whatever. Okay, so hey, I'm not gonna read all of this. Uh, yeah, go yeah, ahead, Susan. So, siguro dun sa aesthetics nung ginawa nilang um, boss here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the fact that this looks like a like a devil monk, because uh, you have the monk beads doing sa ano niya, no? And then the fact that it's called Silent Monastery. I'm not sure if there's a lore here that that alludes to. There, there is, there is, there is another okay, video. Okay. Pero sige, go ahead, go ahead, okay. go with your. Uh, okay, so so yon, just tri- trip ko yon, trip ko yung ano na yon, yung 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 aesthetics na yon na mm-hmm. here's an evil bo- version of one of the popular classes in the game. So ano yon, plus plus yon sa akin as opposed to your typical. Here's a ma- monster that looks yeah, like a dinosaur. Just a, it's a dinosaur, yeah. and that's it. Now. Cool, now yeah, it's yeah. gonna be part of the lore. But yeah, parang he got corrupted and whatever. But there was there's a, there's another trailer for the Silent Monastery. I actually shared it on my uh, Facebook page. I'll put a link to that also in the description. But anyway, um, let's look at the some of the details here. So. Uh, you know, foreboding black mist originating from Silent Monastery, uh, an ancient Saptev temple rolling off the peaks of Mount Levain. Sakay ato naka locate, no? Uh, players who are level 60 and above can group up in parties of 2 to 4. Well, this is the normal thing already we have. To relive the history of the Zakrum Crusades through the lands of Ivgorod. Uh, the inside of the Silent Monastery is home to Eternal Light, making it nearly impossible to navigate. Eternal Night, sorry, Eternal Night. Fortunately, some of the temple statues can be illuminated. So there is a we the, they showed it on the video. There's like there's this night thing, and then you have to illuminate some of the statues. And then you see the the enemies. They actually go away. They move away from the light. No, I've played some games like this before. I just you know I just don't remember. Uh, as oh, there you go. Um, 
Once you flooded the temple with light, there's but one direction to head into the obsidian heart of the silent monastery. Going to toe to toe with the ancient nightmare in its lair will be no easy task. If you can survive an unrelenting flurry of unpowered shadow blasts and guests spike attacks, a lion's share of rewards shall be granted to commemorate your feat. Okay. Baka naman Sargot type of ano to. <laughs> you know, you, you, you bring a very good point. Um, mm. I think the dungeons in, in general are, are, are nice. Eh? Like, if you're going to a, mm. a point where you're, let's say, 150 above ka na, and at that point, you probably already have a lot of legendary. So really, yung green set items yung kakain ng oras right. mo, right? True. So the the repeatability of the dungeons, uh, I think, is something that's a little bit less to be desired in this game. Because mm-hmm. yung mga downtime, like ito si Sargot, parang naga exclamatory contest. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> right? So so my wish really is that itong silent monastery dungeon ato does not have a lot of downtimes, because uh, but, but it, it doesn't really give any impact. Eh. So maybe the first time that you clear it, fine. Like you know, let's let's do away with all of the talkies and the cutscenes, etc. But if you're in the mode, you skip it, no? Right. If you're in the mode wherein you're repeating or repeating, or yeah, if there's an option to skip it, that would be better. Para naman hindi siya malakas masyadong kumain ng oras. <laughs> okay, but but dude, look at that. Oh, yung mga illuminate illuminate thing alone will. I think yeah. it's gonna take some time. But anyway, you know, it's not there yet. So we'll, we'll, I guess we'll. We'll be able to see on September 27. Okay, uh, looking forward to the lion's share of rewards. Let's see. <laughs> All right, next we have Castle uh, Sirangar. Yes, yes. Sorry, don't sa sa update nato or don't sa hmm. data mine. Did it uh, tell us anything about what type of rewards are we getting? Um, meron tayo about the set items, but I'm not gonna talk. We'll talk about it in a bit. Okay. Kasi nandun eh, pero we'll, it's, it's about the set items. Pero, hindi, kasi remember there's a new set item, di ba? The gloom, whatever, no? And uh, during the data mine, na, na, nasabi na there's gonna be a new uh, a new set item, there's gonna be a new dungeon. But we already know na all the dungeons right now have their share of set items already. So, everybody's under the assumption that the new dungeon will have only the new set items that's gonna be dropped. So we're gonna confirm that here. It's actually the that news will be here on the update, way below. So we'll, we'll get there. All right, Castle Sirangar. This is the new uh, warband thing. In the outskirts of West March lies the ancient fortress, rife with unspeakable horrors of to extinguish. Yeah, this is the the data mine. Uh, this is the I think this is the zombie thing. Uh, the warband exploration experience will replace warband camps. And introduce two replayable game modes along with passive bonuses that can be upgraded as you secure and defend your castle. So, mm, you want to introduce large scale improvements to how warbands will perform or function. A big part of this patch features new game modes, unique rewards, and more progression systems. Additionally, you want to remove all the major pain points players have expressed about warbands while simultaneously providing better rewards for players who choose to take part. Whew, this remains to be seen, but <laughs> looking forward to it also. Yeah. The requirement to slay monsters with your warband to establish the camp has been removed. Okay, that's the 1,000 uh, monster thing. We have lowered the threshold for warband helicarrier raid from 8 to 4 people. This is part of the data mine. If there are at least 4 members in the raid from the same warband, the raid can be filled by anyone else. Completing the raid this way will still yield extra warband rewards for the warband members. So that means, pwede ko nang isama si Season on my warband raids without him having to date the warband. No? He can uh, he can buhat us already on whatever. Buhat din tayo ni Damien. Alright, here we go. Successfully completing a warband helicarrier raid for the first time will now grant warband members an additional 400% drop rate increase for sealed warband chests. Ito na naman tayo sa warband chest. This bonus resets every 7 days. Okay, sige. Uh, to begin the quest to bring Castle Sierra under your warband banner, you must be at least level 20 to be part of a warband, speak to Valtus, blah blah blah. Castle Sierra contains three main areas of emphasis for players to engage with purging the depths, warband rooms, and defense of Sierra Okay, so here's the first part purge the depths of Castle Sierra Upon arriving at Castle, uh, your warband will realize there's still some unwanted occupants. You must purge them from your new home. 
As you crush, incinerate, and eviscerate your way through rooms of undead threats, you'll come across restless spirits that are bound to rot here for all eternity. It's up to you to set them free by first defeating them, severing their connection with their tormented vessels, and cleansing the remnants. Each of the remnants provide unique bonuses that are applied to your character. Okay. You can see this, right? I know, season. You can see the... Yeah. Uh, you can traverse the randomized dark underbelly of castles here and there alone, or with up to seven other warband members as many as to start. Okay, so I guess different rooms will... Ano ba to? Yeah. I don't get it. Eh. Parang, uh, look, oh, there are different buffs. Na parang ito rin yung buffs na meron natin on the warband. Eh. The, the same thing. Actually, eh? actually, parang similar lang. Iba nang nila yung itsura. Eh. Mm. Pero, pero katulad yun, I think there's a... Um, and some additions here, like in library, increased block chance. I'm not so sure if it's going to be Okay, okay, wait. Oh, nga, wala nun. But, um, this doesn't replace the current buff system. So the buff system will still remain there. Plus, may extra pa with this one. If you have your this, these things, I guess. I mean... That's what it sounds like, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, good. Additional buffs are good. Once you've cleared your castle of unwanted guests, additional rooms will become available for you and your warband members to occupy. Ayun. Each room has its own variety of unique bonuses that it provides to the occupant. Who occupies which room is up to your warband leader. They can assign and unassign players at will. A player will still be able to uh, unassign themselves from a warband room at any time. Players will receive the benefits of the room for as long as they occupy it, but cannot occupy more than one room at a time. Okay, warband rooms can be upgraded by placing remnants receiving from purging the depths of Castle Syringar. Doing so will provide perspe respective rooms with digital bonuses. Okay, so that's the first part. Next naman, after the purging, is the defense naman. Now that your warband has renovated Castle Syringar, settled in, word has gotten back to the era, blah blah blah, they're coming in full force, so you'll need to work in unison with your warband to hold back the infernal tide of demonic destruction headed straight for castle's front gate. So Defense of Syringar offers two modes. Standard mode can be played once a week. In this mode, players must withstand eight waves of bloodthirsty demons. If your warband successfully staves off the hellspawn, you'll receive rewards and experience for holding the line firm. That's the first part, the first mode. Second mode, endless mode can be played at any time. In this mode, warbands will receive a score based on how many heavy hitting waves of demons they can survive. This mode has an accompanying uh, leaderboard. Ooh, nice leaderboard. So you can see how your warband stacks, stacks up to others. Additionally, the top warbands will receive the Serengar defense portrait fra uh, frame for their tenacity. Now, a question for you, Season. Because on my last uh, podcast with my friend uh, Grimspark, we talked about how the warband sometimes does not really act like a warband. It just acts like a, some placeholder for you to, you know, to come in, jump around, diba? And then people are not permanently in a, in a warband. So do you think this will change that behavior that we have right now? Yeah, it's it's a it's a good question. I think yung yung the way that warband is designed right now, I, I totally agree. Uh, hindi hindi mo siya mararamdaman talaga. Eh. Right. Um, like you, you know, it provides some buffs, but it only is applicable and ano right? Mm -hmm. right? Etc. Pero like in your normal day to day grind, wala naman siyang impact. Um, you know, siguro siguro my my leniency over warband is you know very very low uh, right now. Ngayon, with with these updates, it sounds like it's still very similar. Yeah. Um, pero yung yung portion na provides an opportunity for a warband to perform together. Kasi nga, diba, I think mayroong nakalagay ito na leaderboard. Eh. Yes. Um, I, I know a lot of people. We also like, have a leaderboard right now for the warbands. Right. Mm. right. So, so, katulad yan, diba? So, meron... <laughs> ako nga, hindi ko alam na may leaderboard ng warband. I mean, that's how... <laughs> that's how non-impactful the warband is for mm. me. As of the moment. Pero, uh, I think, obviously, the, the the developers want to lean towards let's bump up warband even more. To be honest with you, I'm not really impressed with what it's doing. True, true. Even with this update. Mm -hmm. Medyo, ano, medyo napayatan ako ng kaunti. No, the, the content is fine. Diba? Pero again, the, it's centered on the warband system. 
they're, they're really pushing it. The wizard, come on. I blaze the wizard. Blizzard, come on. I mean, why are you really pushing this? It's yeah. If you want to push it, you have to give the members some kind of incentive to stay in the war band. But it's really yeah. a war band. Hindi yung, like right now, I see, you know, I, I can see ourselves again jumping in and out of the war band. Yeah. Diba? Again. Oh, tara, may defense of Sirongar. Tara, paso kayo. And then people, you know. It, it defeats the purpose eh, of, uh, of a group of people, diba? Na join, na, 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 not in a clan setting. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, ano, um, like, like, Warband is like forcing people to play together at a specific time. Right. right? Uh, kasi nga, you know, it requires eight people right now. I think kanina it says four. parang now four, na four lang, people. Now four na lang. Na lang. So, nila yun. And, and that's, a good, uh, that's a good move. Pero yung idea of you need to collect all of your four or eight members at a specific time in, in order to do you know one set of activity medyo high demand yon para sa akin like True. you know I, I, was look, I was looking at some of my analytics on sa youtube channel to out of curiosity to take a look at ano ba yung itsura ng age bracket okay. na nanonood right mm-hmm. um, and, and it turns out that majority of my viewers and i'm not sure if this is the same for your channel pero majority of the viewers are coming from the 25 years old to 44 years old okay right? and, and what i'm trying to say here is itong age bracket na to sila yung working class right hey come on, come on. Trabaho yan, mga yan. so mm-hmm. yun, ibig sabihin, that's your volume of population who supports the game and then you're forcing this age bracket to play at a certain time uh, so so paano ko may trabaho ko so that means mm-hmm. iba yung schedule ng mga warband members ko sa akin so that means i can't play with my buddies anymore because ano naman unahin ko yung yung, yung game kasi doon sa work all right so that's a little bit inhibiting the way that it's designed right now so really I'm really not a big fan of uh, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. war the, 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 uh, the, the i think the thought and the intent is is good but for me, it's a little bit ambitious for the type of. You're, you're yeah. right for the type of demographic. I mean, for the type of uh, uh, you know, you're right for the bracket of people who are currently playing it. No, buti ko nyara yung target market nila, like kids na wala naman talagang ano de ba? Whatever. But uh, anyway, ito na yon. We're here and they're they're still really pushing it, de ba? So let's hope something comes up and and uh, helps. I don't know, helps this move along or whatever. Okay, well, anyway, let's it's move a, on. <laughs> it's, a, it's, I mean, it's, it's a risk. It's a gamble on their end. Uh, and hopefully that uh, it pays off. Uh, I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll see. Well, they're, they're, they're really pushing it because Diablo Immortal has been really successful on sales and whatever. So they're kind of like, they're kind of overconfident now. Okay, I, you know, I'll let me introduce this. Let me introduce that. They'll just eat it up. Okay, fine. Let's let's see. Diba? I mean, it's still too early. There's no one um, if we're basing it on the current system, I don't like it. We, you don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. But if the new system comes up and kind of improves it, then you know, all the good, all the better. We want the game to improve it. But we're here for the game. So if it's if it's good for everybody, then uh, we're all for it. Okay. Well, let's move to ancestral weapons. Okay. So, kanina nagano tayo purging and defense, and then this is ancestral weapons. Look, oh, there's a place where you can input this, the weapons, okay? So, purging the depths of uh, Castle Serengar and defending it from an assault yields valuable rewards. While participating in its game modes, you'll have a chance to find ancestral weapons. So, harness the power of these weapons, place them into your ancestral tableau connected in the heart of Castle. Uh, once placed, ancestral weapons will confer a portion of their attributes such as strength, intelligence, vitality onto all members. Oh, bah, oh, bah, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so all members of the war band will get this okay that's not bad that's not bad no. so each yeah. war band member can only place one ancestral member in dota blue so you work together with your fellow war band members to assemble the best ancestral weapons you can find to power up all war band members so again ito, uh, this begs the question again are these buffs you know can only be used inside the castle serengar thing or again can it be used outside of the field i think it's the former what do you think Caesar? Uh, yeah you know you, you you hit it in the nail um kung ito ay same buff effect lang as as current you know it's it's really not changing Parang anything it's, <laughs> it's it's like you're fortifying something that doesn't work sure uh but if if the applicability is pretty much across the board i i would say this deserves 
the term major update. Cool. So this is a, an entirely new mechanism to strengthen your character. Okay. Well, the action of placing items into your access to blue and providing a portion of their attributes to all members of your warband does not require anyone else but yourself to be online. Okay. So in addition to the bonus attributes, you can also call upon special powers from the warband's accessor weapons while donning the invocation and dami naman stuff invocation gear. While participating in Castle Seringer activities, gear that drops has a chance to possess an additional invocation property. Okay, this is it, it, this is this is what makes things a little bit uh, complicated. Invocation yep. gear can be equipped to your character in its respective item slot to receive the benefit and trigger the ability of your ancestral weapon. You can mix and match your invocation gear with the ancestral weapon of your choice to further customize your build. So here's the example. Your ancestral weapon might provide the property deal lightning damage to surrounding enemies. And then you have an invocation when combined with an invocation such as chance to trigger your ancestral property when you deal damage. So ang result nyan, if you combine both abilities, it results in chance to deal lightning damage to surrounding enemies when you deal damage. Okay, so it is a combination of, uh, of things lang din naman. Well, yeah, that's that's you know that's that's very promising. Uh, again, if this is applicable across the board, sobrang ako dito. This yeah. is a big check because right. uh, it will really strengthen a lot of uh, builds and even maybe create new builds that are not meta. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it, uh, you know. I'm sure your 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 mind's gears are working already, looking for builds, uh, and knowing you. Pa. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm to be honest with you. Okay. Pero kung again, ito ay tipo pang hell quarry lang para. <laughs> but still, even if I mean, sige, hindi na, pero maganda ka sa dito. There's now this Castle Sirangar thing, so hindi lang siya pang Heliquary. The buffs yeah. for the Warband can now be used to another content, so that provides it ng another content. Let's hope it's uh, it's fun then and something na, you know, we can, I guess. Pero, y- pero yung Castle Sirangar, hmm. um, wait lang, baka mali yung pagkakaintindi ko. I-, I thought the previous camp. Uh, open air, they made it a castle. Yes, it's now the castle. Uh, tapos may active. Ah, okay, so there is an active within the castle. Okay, inside okay. the castle. Okay, I mean, okay. yun, yun din na pagkaintindi ko. Kasi it replaces okay. the camp daw. And then there's no need to kill. Wala na siyang requirement. Basta you have the warband already. So season. Okay. okay, so let's move on to season 5 battle pass Science of the Storm. Um, some electricity themed costumes. What do you think? Uh, uh, yeah, your name. Uh, I I ako, I like it because like, mukang iron. <laughs> Yung nasa iron kaliwa, mukang, <laughs> ano ba to? Uh, necromancer. Yung nasa, which one? Yung nasa kaliwa. Dito? Ay, tama, yeah, it's a necro. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. It's a necro. Um, I, I think it's it's nice. Like if I compare it to the pina kahule na may mga kandila sa armor, <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> uh, an. Up- Oh my yeah, god, yung definitely... monk mukhang cone head na ewan na. Oh my gosh, I, really, I even like, wanna forget it na. But, but, pati yung crusader pre, mukhang ano, mukhang tornillo yung ulo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, you know, ako, I'm a very big fan of electricity being a Dragon Ball fan, no? So this thing, this thing yeah. might look promising. So let's see, let's see. Maybe if there's, if there's other effects na part ng ano, then maybe uh, I'll take a look at it. Uh, okay, Sanctuary's Dennis believe the power of a squall cannot be controlled, only nature can uh, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, new battle pass devoted by Season 5 begins on September 29, uh, 3 a.m. server time. Post 40 ranks worth of challenges rewards. So, okay, let's know that. Uh, we already know about this empowered battle pass and the collector's powered pass. We already, we already know about that. Okay, um, ito, look, new Helicary raid boss. I, this was part of the data mine. Uh, Izilek the Misshapen. So, ito siya. So, I've seen it. So, Ryak has located the most wicked Rathborn demon to date. Izilek Misshapen, uh, ruler of the leader of the Rathborn demons, blah blah blah. Uh, body lay twisted and broken, result of Diablo's wrath, but Izilek's will endured. He's now the Misshapen. Okay, good. Uh, anyway, this is the lore. You guys can just read up on it. But, it's an important part. Your combat rating. Should be at least six thousand one hundred seventy-five. Okay. Gigi. Anong ano to? Anong paragon kaya to? Para mabotay ng ganon six one seven five two hundred something. Medyo malaki lang yun. Teka silipin natin na. Pero abut na lang. Sa twins ngayon na sa hundred fifty hundred sixty abut ng twins eh, which is around four thousand. 
So six one. What do you think? Yeah. So 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 hell five is ano eh, is around five thousand CR. Then this one is six thousand. Um, I, I think oh it it makes sense that they you know open up or create new hell quarry bosses. Um, because you know it's it's a progression type of game, right? Yeah. And if majority of your players can easily beat any world boss, it becomes repetitive na masyado. Like like parang long release na lang yung yung itsura. Pero if you if if we keep on getting new content that has more challenges, obviously that creates more challenges for other players who like to min max or push the border. So I think it's a good that they ano, that they continuously uh, update the hell quarry bosses. Okay. Now ito, if we beat him, he gets we get the Ratborn crown. We're keeping this item to the top slot will provide you the additional 30 combat rating as like ngayon. And a 10% movement speed boost while inside the challenge rift. So, parang gusto ko rin yun ah, yung 10% movement speed niya. Okay, uh, scarring the darkness limited time event. Um, this I guess is gonna be something like the... Um, something like uh, yung fractured plane siguro. Uh, now you find yourself uh, scouring the darkness for twist blah 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 band together oh it's a war band thing again band together with your war band or slay your way to safety alone as a complete task and earn variety of words including the congratulations emote okay all right so september 28th yeah nothing much to say here it's just an event uh hungering moon back for seconds this uh, blah 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 uh, um we'll gain the astral power Give you a bonus to magic find. Wait, good. Drawing, drawing a blessing of magic will give you a bonus to magic find. Handy for increasing your chances of receiving rare magic or legendary items from monsters as a drop. Drawing a blessing of might invites you to complete any dungeon in exchange for moon sliv slivers. Moon slivers. And if you complete the dungeon with the party, twice the amount of moon slivers shall be bestowed upon you. Uh, once you've racked up a handful of moon slivers by purging demonic hordes from the dungeons, visit the Hermit's Collection located within the Hungry Moon event page to trade your moon slivers for lunar lace rewards of your choice. Okay. So, I like this naman. Maraming naman ako kuwana dun sa Hungry Moon event. Yung, 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 uh, you were getting something yeah, naman. Dun. Uh, yeah, it's, it's additional stuff for stuff that you're already doing. So, check, check. Yes. Wait, this one looks nice. Crowned One's Cosmetic Set. I think I like this better than the science of the storm. I don't know. Ang sexy na ano ng wizard. Yeah. <laughs> wizard ano? <laughs> sexy. Ang tayo. Okay. So. Yeah, tapos may mga Wolverine style yung uh, monk dito uh, sa kaliw. Yung sa ano yung katar na lang. But, uh, hindi hindi agree, bagay I sa like monk ito. Hindi bagay sa monk yung ito. Bagay ito sa crusader for sure. Super bagay sa yeah. crusader. It is seldom yeah. enough to act like royalty blah blah blah. Okay, so eh, bagong cosmetic. New cosmetics are good. It, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who actually just enjoy the game for cosmetics alone. So, I'm all for that. Okay, sure. Bug yeah. fix. Um, bug fixes. Okay, feature updates. New legendary gems. Okay, ito yung, this is the part of the data mine which was a little, was wrong for me. Because I kind of relied on the, also on the, the frozen heart kasi. Um, it was already a gem existing in the beta update. But it was different from what's seen here. So this is a correction from my last video. So three new legendary gems have been added. This is the one star gem. Uh, the Blessed Pebble increases the duration of beneficial effects on you by 12% and increases your move speed, movement speed by 8% for 3 seconds after gaining a beneficial effect. So parang Vitus, parang Vitus urge to na... I like it, no? One star gem to. Yeah, that's true. It's it sounds like it's more F2P friendly, and really, in my opinion, it itong game na to immortal is starting to get a flack of a, more of a pay to win type of game. Mm -hmm. um, so so any move that they can make in order to help more F2P players, I think that makes sense. Um, lalo na one star lang siya, no? so I gusto ko to, maganda tong ano the, ito. the question is though, itong 12% and then yung 8% movement speed. Is it kapag na, na level 10 man ba siya? Or pag na rank 10 man ba siya? Or whatever. It doesn't say. Yeah. So, we don't know if this is the maximum of it. Pero, mas madali naman mag, 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 mag rank up ng 1 star gem. Nakapag rank 10 na ako nito before. So, kaya yan. Totoo. Tsaka ano, tsaka ano Pops? It's movement speed eh. That's... Right. Like, like you you can... <laughs> My mind is already... Um, it's already very... Sa naman, oh. <laughs> uh, pero yun nga, it's, it's a movement speed buff. 
which I think is um, very applicable for any character class. Lalong lalo na for melee. Kasi diba medyo lugi, yeah, you know this kasi you're, you're playing a monk. Uh, so medyo lugi yung uh, melee classes uh, in this game, in my opinion. So give them more movement speed, yeah, check yan. Okay, cool. Um, abiding Curse, this is a two-star gem. Your attacks have 15% chance to curse enemies. Reducing their attack and movement speed by 35% for 8 seconds. Curse enemies also take 10% increased damage from your attacks. Cannot curse the same target more than once every 20 seconds. Another nice gem. I like this. Anything that, that uh, debuffs the enemy. Um, if you are... Lalo na pag mo yung Blessed Pebbles saka yung, yung Abiding yeah. Curse. Ang ganda no? At 8 seconds. So, that's, that's not... I mean, even granted that it says... If you're BG, ka, it, it will reduce the effect, whatever. Kahit pa mong, let's say, 3 seconds, lang yan, that's, that's still very long. Very, very long time. Okay. So, tapos, dagdaga mo, pa ng, dagdaga mo pa ng chill, Pops. GG. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, yung mga, ano, ano, yung sa Reforged Stones, yung nasa, ano, diba? Yung, right. Oh, diba? So, Frozen Heart, this is it. The 5-star gem. This is where I was wrong in my last data mine update. When you take damage, activate a Frigid Shield for 6 seconds. That chills enemy attackers and absorbs damage equal to 360% of your base damage plus 1458. Frigid Shield also grants your attacks a 60% chance to chill enemies. Cannot gain Frigid Shield more than once every 20 seconds. I like this gem. I really like it. What do you think? Nako Crusader ka pan. Like if I if I imagine having a kahit pa sabihin natin hindi whale no sabihin natin baby whale or ano um tawag dito maliit na isda lang na, na spender mm. as a bar- barbarian or crusader tapos meron kang mount the bank set and for whatever reason ko sakali mag apaka kunat ng barbarian na yan right eh yung mount bank set na 6 piece pag pumotok yun ang sakit din noon eh yes. right so that that that's really a good compliment for that so i i agree with you i i totally like this gem okay well let's see if we're gonna we're gonna be able to do it and finally here's the new set item the gloom guides price nakita natin to um the, this is a new set item um here we go increases uh, the the two piece bonus increases your damage done by 15% for three seconds after using a dash skill, super cool already. Then, sobrang school cool nyan. Because for example, kami sa monk, if we dash in and do a shoryuken, um, increases the damage of the shoryuken, so that's great. For four piece, increases your critical hit chance by 22.5 percent for three seconds. Okay then. But the third one, and we saw this on the video season, no? unleashes a wave of terror when your dash skill ends. Dealing X damage and causing nearby enemies to flee in fear for 3 seconds. Wave of Terror will only trigger when enemies are nearby but cannot occur more than every 40 seconds. Fear. Loss of control to bro. <laughs> yeah, sobrang ganda nito, Pops. So, ano, kumbaga, we've covered quite a lot of content earlier. Pero I think this one takes the cake for me. Like, I think this is the best update that we or that we've, you know, read so far. Um, mainly because, like, again, Yung katulad na sinabi ko kanina, no, medyo lugi kasi ang, ang melee class compared to the range class uh, in any of the PvP setup. So, you know, this really empowers that whole dash portion. Like, you know, you, you have your Berserker, yung sa, sa Monk. Uh, like, in, in my Crusader, I have a build that uses the Fallen Sword to do the dash three times. So, and, and it's it's a combo, right? So, if you do dash three times and then you're proking this one, so wala nakalagay na, ano eh, na, na cooldown eh. So does that mean I'm pretty much upkeeping that damage increase 15% all the time while I'm doing my combo? So napakaganda niya. Um, and then fear again another CC. Any CC mechanism in PvP is, is very very welcome. So I think there's gonna be more love towards the character classes that dive into the clash mm-hmm. as opposed to kung mapapansin mo sa battlegrounds napakaraming range classes, de ba? Mm-hmm. And sometimes chachacha na kayo wala walang nagsusuntukan yeah. sa kita kasi hindi yeah. yeah. sumugod <laughs> correct uh, yeah. I, I like it i really like it <laughs> like that term like chachacha chacha okay legendary and rare crest improvements trade 1 6 for for one legendary crest can be done once a week huh this is not a new improvement diba may 1 1 6 ba yun din nasa baba ah meron lang bago trade 200 platinum for a rare crest it can be, this can be done 3 times a week nobody is going to do that blizzard walang gagawa nito they're only yeah. gonna stick. Do not do this, guys. Stick your platinum for, 
for the 1.6. Ah, kasi... Ah, tama, platinum din yun. Yung binabayad dun eh, di ba? Dun sa guy na yun. So, don't don't go for rare quest, guys. Okay, so... It, it sounds like F2P friendly, but in reality, it's no. not. Okay. Warband chest, legendary items. Legendary type items acquired from warband chest can now have their essence transferred? Huh? Okay. Ah, so pwede ka na mag... Pwede ka na mag essence transfer sa... Okay, sige, sige. Immortal Rain Defend... Oh, ito! Gusto ko to, pero I don't know. <laughs> We're improving the Immortals Defend the Vault experience by using a queuing system now! Like the Shadows, how the Shadows raid the Vault. Players will now be able to use the Find Party feature to be matched into 4 player groups. Finally! My goodness! Napakahirap pag ano sa Vault, lalo na pag ikaw yung party leader. Pinot so, sa ngayon, mm. sa ngayon, ano to, di ba? Pabilisan. Yeah, and then, Pabilisan. dahil nagpapabilis ka, the button where the where the accept is is also the same place where the cancel is so hindi mo pwedeng spam kasi pag accept mo mga cancel mo which is actually what happened to me kanina so kudos kung sana mabutan natin while we're still doing more time Corvus Expedition yes. variant uh, Corvus Expedition gaining variant scope potentially activate during a run this is two surprise challenges based on activities uh, okay so Corvus is you know parang again a team building activity so if there's something new then that's good okay lang uh, Hero's Journey Additional Chapters Good, good Your Journey, blah, 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 blah uh, Newest Editions, okay And the Glorious Journey Portal Cosmetics Sige, good New Bestiary Entries Hindi ako, I don't like this <laughs> We're adding over 20 yeah. new entries to the Horatic Bestiary to make ga Gathering Month This is not a good uh, update Because <laughs> Because uh, you can duplicate You can get duplicate entries, eh Diba? Blizzard na to, eh uh, yeah, tsaka, tsaka oh. sa lang, like I, I'd rather have the additional three thousand gold <laughs> whenever I have a dupe. That's an aga. Diba dipa bestiary and when when you mm. when you do your bestiary tapos meron ka ng unlock non oh. it gives you gold day. Eh. Oh. Parang that's a three thousand, six thousand dependent oh. on an unlock. So I'd rather have that. As opposed to, you know, I, I need to unlock anything else that really doesn't do anything for me. Ah, uh, okay. No, ako, I wanna unlock it kasi diba sa exploration, may mga requirement doon na you have to unlock your the num this number of bestiary pages. So that's why I don't like yeah. it. Pero fine, yeah. it's okay. If you're not really for that. <laughs> Winton's Grand Market Adjustment. The time frame in which players can buy any items you have up for sale has been reduced from 12 hours to 3 hours. Very big, very big reduction there. The time frame in which players can resell items they recently purchased have been reduced from 7 to 2 days. Okay, so if you're the type na parang working the market, then this will be super good news for you. Eternal Orb Bundle Update, the 315 Eternal Orbs Bundle for USD 499 has been changed from 320 for 4.99 so dinagdagan lang ng 5 and then yung isa naman 6.30 to 6.50 so they added 20 additional orbs more on the spenders and yun and that's it that's actually all the updates na we have for the new patch season your thoughts on everything what would be the best update for you what is the worst update for you yeah so generally speaking I'd say I, I like the fact that they keep on providing content mm -hmm. So whether whether it be a mini update or a major update, the fact that they're continuously working on it and the fact that they're listening to their player players is a big check in my book. Um, like I've played so many games wherein pretty much nonchalant wapa kills yung mga developers na sa mga, for example, content creators or feedback to the game. So the fact that they're working on it regularly, that's you know that's Blizzard for you. It's a big check for them. Um, what what stands out for me in these updates would be well, like what I mentioned earlier is yung set items, mm -hmm. at yung legendary items uh, or legendary gems rather. Mm -hmm. So I think those are game breaking uh, and it's pointing towards more on the melee classes, which you know I, I think it it hopefully balances out. Um, and, and you know get more love out of people <laughs> um, to play more uh, melee classes so you know, the lower part of the feedback to unsa update really it's the warband thing warband. i mean <laughs> yeah I, I mean a for effort but you know it's it's really not uh selling it uh, for me uh, like katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, i'm just basing it on analytics you know if you have a, a huge portion of your audience that is in this type of working class citizens who have work schedules but here too forcing them 
to be in game in a specific time any type of time gate medyo hindi ako okay doon um, kasi sayang it's, it's inhibiting people to play so yun yung pinaka ayoko doon sa upgrade got it I, I'm, I have the same naman um, the set items and the legendary uh, gems will be the the crowning point siguro itong major update na to the others are just additional stuff which is not really super big major things um, the set items really introduce a, ma- a major meta it's gonna be meta changing in in the battlegrounds because Shemper will be encountering some new stuff, which is which will be which will be seen in all in all classes, no? Dati yung necro lang yun, yung merong guys walk kasi oh. fear ka ngayon. Lahat ng may dash magkakaroon na ng ganon. Uh, assuming they have the six oh. items. Okay, well, <laughs> that's actually all of the updates right now. I think medyo to magal tayo. I might have to cut this into two parts para lang uh, uh, hindi naman sobrang haba. But uh, season, I want to thank you for for your time and you know for for this review. I'm giving you you this time right now to plug in your channels and everything that you want to plug to our viewers. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Damien, and uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so if you guys would like to uh, check some of the builds uh, available for the game, you know, check out my channel. It's Season Gaming. Um, I go over the different classes and hopefully find. Uh, you know builds that are either meta or non-meta and and you know provide more variety to the gameplay so do do check it out and of course you know check out uh, damien's uh, channel as well <laughs> thank you okay well that's gonna be it uh, for me and uh, for season um of course i'll put in all the, ma- the the good links in the descriptions once again guys uh thank you very much for staying on this uh little bit of an update uh, discussion regarding the new uh patch And uh, we, we both, will see you guys on the battlefield. Bye.